welcome to another episode of Afro Scientific Spirituality. My name is Efe West, reaching you live and direct from the heart of Africa. If this is your first time on this channel, you are welcome. This is the place where we separate the facts from the fiction, the science from the superstition, and the concept from the misconceptions about African spirituality. Today, I want to be talking about uh, a very, very powerful hallucinogenic plant that is called Entada Redale. Entada Redale. It is also known as the African Dream Herb or the African Dream Seed. And uh, that is exactly what it does. This is a seed that uh, is very popular in Central Africa and Southern Africa. And you can also find some of them in Western Africa as well. It is a seed or herb that is known for its proficiency in the area of uh, lucid dreaming, dream enhancements. It has been used for thousands of years by ancient Africans to enhance their dreams and to communicate with the ancestors or the spirit realm or the ancestral realm. This herb is uh, something that people take, they kind of absorb it or eat it or drink it into them so that it will enhance their mental alertness and also their dreaming. It makes your dream to be very, very vivid and very, very real. So in uh, Africa, people use this herb for that very purpose. And people have come to discover that uh, we humans, we are composed of our body, spirit, and soul. So as to the physical body needs nourishment, need to be exercised regularly, need to be fed and uh, taken care of. Your spiritual body as well also needs to be taken care of. And uh, you also need to find the right type of herbs or medicine or things that are good for the spirit so that your spirit will become very, very active and alert because uh, according to the saying, we lose what we don't use. For instance, you see somebody that uh, is always going to the gym, exercising every day. You always doing physical exercises. You are trying to build muscles. That person will be very, very fit and muscular and healthy than somebody that don't normally engage in physical exercises. So you can take example from both people. When it comes to we as a human beings involved in the spiritual activities, we, the aim of spirituality is to kind of uh, exercise your spirit. That's part of the human psyche that regular people don't normally use. We make more use of it. That is why we are different from average people. Average people don't meditate. Average people don't take interest in spiritual things. Average people do not uh, do, we not do some of the things we as spiritualists are doing. So we need the uh, plants that we enhance our spirituality, that we activate the parts of the brain that average people don't normally use, like your third eye, the pingala glands, the hypothalamus, and uh, some parts of the brain that are not uh, really, really that used by other people. A plant like Entada Redale, this uh, African dream seed, have been known to be one of those compounds that actually enhance or reset the limbic system of the brain. The limbic system is that part of the brain that controls emotion and behavior. So these are uh, entire retail have been discovered by scientists, modern Western science, that it resets the limbic system. So, 
taking these plants, consuming it is going to change your behavior. And uh, it has been known to change the behavior of people that use it. So it is like, uh, I will say, African ayahuasca. If you are familiar with the ayahuasca plant in Latin America, it is almost the same. But the difference is that uh, in ayahuasca is the plant, the back of the tree is taken and uh, mixed with other leaves to make the brew. But uh, in Tada Rede, what people actually use is the seeds. The seeds have been are very big. They can grow to be very large, like uh, little rocks. They have a white uh, substance inside. The white substance is what is eaten, what is ingested, or sometimes people also smoke it to get the enzymes that will activate the limbic system and other parts of the brain. The seeds of the plants are also worn like uh, hamlets by people in Africa. I have gotten like two of these hamlets in the past before. I have seen them, people wear them and sell them. You can find them in African spiritual shops. You can see the hamlets. They wear it for protection. They wear it for luck and uh, fever and other good things. So it's a very strong charm. They also use it for divination so the seed is um, very powerful and uh, it's also used for communicating with uh, the ancestors so if you want to enhance your communication with the spirit world via dreams you need to get this seed and you need to consume this seed to enhance your dream states it's uh, the kind of seed that uh, we give you the feeling if you have watched a movie called Inception by Leo DiCaprio. Inception, where you see yourself inside a dream, a dream inside a dream. This is the, the plant for that. It is a very, very powerful plant and a kind of secret head in Africa. It is one of the things that they classified as an onirogen in science. The meaning of the word is that uh, it's something that has the capacity to create and enhance dreams. According to their words, it is supposed to modify the waking state through sleep while maintaining a high level of consciousness. That means that you will be fully aware of everything that happens when you are sleeping. And so you can be able to fully remember your dream exactly the way it is. So. It's going to make your dreams come true. It has also been known to give people nightmares as well. So it's not only uh, giving people good feelings, people that have been on the wrong path of life or people that maybe something will soon happen to them in the future, like they will, they will have to die or something. It will show them their death. It will show them what will happen to them in the future. So these people will actually see their own future and then they will be forced to change their life path so that they will not uh, come to a sudden end. It's a plant that people use to see vision. If you want to see the future, you want to see your ancestors, you want to see spirits, you want to connect more with the spirit world, this is the plant that you need to, to take, this entire redale. It is a, a very good plant. It is very, very popular. You can find it online on the many shops that sell it in Africa. A good place to find spiritual products is a uh, shop E-S-T-Y-S-T. -S -S uh, it's a very good platform where you can be able to shop for spiritual products. It is highly recommendable. It's better than an eBay and Amazon and much more cheaper. So if you want to buy spiritual products please check that platform there are lots of sellers there i'm sure you can be able to see some good sellers that people that have very good reviews you share their reviews if they are actually sending the products and if customers have had good experience with them you buy from those kind of people you can see some very cheap and affordable products there so i recommend that place so in all in standard retail it's a very good plant. I think that uh, people that are trying to connect with the spirit ring, 
is something that you can try and uh, check it out and use it. It is uh, highly recommendable. Many people have used it and uh, they have attested to read that it works very well. The way it is used is that uh, people eat the seed raw, you can buy it and just break it open and start showing the seed. The seed is bitter, but uh, you can reduce the bitterness by grinding it and using it to make a tea. Brew it. You drink it the way you drink Lipton tea. People use it like that. Then people also smoke it. They make grind the powder of the seed. They mix it with tobacco or something else. Then they smoke it so to ingest it into them. The plant is a lot like and the way the plant structure is a, almost like ayahuasca. If you see ayahuasca tree and you see this tree, there's almost no difference. So I think it's also from a family of the ayahuasca uh, group of plants that is also a very powerful hallucinogen in uh, Latin America. This plant is like that. So I can also call it African ayahuasca in a way because the trees are alike in structure. The only difference is that ayahuasca does not bear the seeds and this plant bear the seed and the uh, effects can be found in the seed. Why ayahuasca? You have to cut the bank of the plants and mix it with something else. So we can be able to call this African ayahuasca. So you can try to get this plant, get it online, try it out and tell me what you think. I think it's a very good plant. And I will be bringing more plants like this. We have lots of them in Africa or for things you can use to enhance your dream. The dream world is a, a very important aspect of spirituality. We do a lot of work in the dream world. So for you to practice African spirituality very well, you need to gain access of, to the dream world. Nowadays, due to the distractions and the so-called poisons we are eating every day in the form of food, these are synthetic products that are polluting our bodies. People are Many people are having difficulty remembering their dreams. Some people are not even dreaming anymore. They are totally dead. They don't dream anymore. So for people that want to practice spirituality, you need to reactivate that aspect of you. You need to start dreaming again. So we need to find a way to connect back to our true self, to connect, to realign our true nature. So this is one of the plans that can help you connect back to your real self so you can be dreaming again. You can actually be doing things in your dream, you can actually be your own guy, be seeing your own visions, be seeing and directing your own life path, be taking a greater control and power of your dream state of your own spirituality. So I will recommend this plan for people that want to really practice African spirituality. You need to start taking control of your own life. You need to activate your dream consciousness. It is very, very important so that you can be a master of your life. It's very important that you remember your dreams, you start dreaming again, and uh, you fulfill your spiritual and physical destiny upon this planet. So please uh, try to get these plants and start using it. It's a very good plant. It's very powerful. You can also google about the plant. So many things have been written about it. I am not the first person talking about it. People have known these plants for uh, thousands of years. Many people have come to Africa. Many people are using these plants. So you should also be using it to enhance your spirituality. Okay. So this is what I have for you today. Like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel. Please hit the notification bell. So you'll be, you'll be the first to get my videos when I release them. I wish you a very wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye.